Hey guys, welcome back to The Game We're Playing. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Halloween for the Atari 2600, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Awesome stuff, man. Awesome! Alright, so at the end of the last video, I think I was at the end of my first Halloween story. Got about several for you. Uh, but I was talking about, you know, me and my friend. My, my, my childhood friend, man. My lifelong childhood friend. We went out trick-or-treating like we always do every year. Uh, he was the mask from, uh, Jim Carrey's The Mask. Come here, you little shit kid. Come, you see, he doesn't respond to me. There, there, I got him. Damn it. Anyway. <clears throat> so, uh, he was pissing me off. He kept pushing me to the door, so I, I hauled off and I punched him in the face. I gave him a black eye. We were on the same soccer team, uh, that year. Oh, here we are. Um, and, uh, his parents did not, uh, not appreciate uh, of me punching him in the face, uh, apparently. I don't know, I don't know, I don't understand it. So, we were friends for, for many years. Alright, this kid, we played Sega Genesis together all the time. Like I said, sometimes in some videos, I was a Nintendo guy, my friend was the Sega guy, he'd come to my house, play Nintendo, I'd go to his, I'd play Sega, Toe Jam and Earl. We'd spend hours playing Toe Jam and Earl, Streets of Rage, and all that fun stuff. Ruined! Gone! Gone in one night! In one instant! In the heat of a moment! In the heat of the moment, man! One punch! It wrecks it all! His parents forbade me to hang out with him ever again. And that, that was it. Uh, I, I'd see him occasionally, a couple times, but, you know, that was it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, I've, uh, recently I've talked to him on Facebook. We're, we're both adults now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and he's a good guy, and, uh, yeah, good stuff, you know? He's living his life. Awesome stuff, man. Never forget uh, your childhood friends. Never forget them. Good times, fun times. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So let's see. How about a couple of quick, really quick uh, short stories? Something that doesn't make the whole night, but just a crazy thing that, you know, happened during the Halloween night once. All right. Let's see. Uh, you know, one time we had the video camera out. We we're smashing pumpkins, you know, that kind of thing. We're about teenagers at this time. So, uh, my friend, my crazy friend, he's crazy. He's, he's almost as crazy as me. Uh, I believe he, he cut a hole in the pumpkin. Or no, no, he just, uh, he widened one of the, uh, eye holes on the jack-o'-lantern. And, uh, I believe he pulled his pants down and he stuck his dick in the pumpkin and started to fuck the pumpkin. And it was just, and we got it on camera, too. Kind of from a side shot. You couldn't really see anything, thank the fucking God. Uh, but yeah, he, he started humping that pumpkin, man. He was going at it. That pumpkin, it got it hard, man. That pumpkin is a dirty girl. And that pumpkin was used. So anyway, after after that, we destroyed the remains of that pumpkin and threw it down the street. <laughs> awesome stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, last year, or no, no, a couple years ago, I went to a Halloween party as Beer Man. What I did, basically, I took a bunch of uh, ice house boxes and a couple other boxes, uh, you know, I put them on my, around my chest, around my, uh, my, uh, ass, and, uh, on my lower legs, and, uh, you know, went as beer man, it was kind of cool, where people called me Ice House Man, but, uh, you know, a couple years ago, there was this party, um, fucking, uh, hot tub incident, I, I, we like to call this the hot tub incident, me and my friends, but, um, god damn it, this guy never quits! Um, you know, we were drinking, having a good time around the, the hot tub. It was kind of cool out, but we had a kind of a fire going, too, uh, around, you know, near the hot tub. But uh, this this guy, um, who, who wouldn't be our friends, you know, sometimes friends of friends come over to parties. You know, you're not really into these people. You don't dig them. You, they're not your friends. You don't really want to talk to these people, but that's how parties are sometimes, you know. Especially as you get older, there's people there at parties. Damn it! Come on, kid! No! There's people there at parties that you just don't want to really talk to. What, is he back? Did he resurrect? Come on! There we go. Anyway. So this guy's getting more plastered and plastered. In fact, we all are. We're all fucking shit-faced drunk. So this guy, you know, when there's hot tubs, bad things happen, man. Bad things happen. Uh, I, I got my friends who are in the hot tub. This guy is just totally wasted, man. He doesn't have his suit, so what do you think he does? He doesn't have his suit. He gets naked. He just he pulls off his fucking his trousers, his shirt. He just sheds it all, man. This guy is just dick hanging. It's it's just getting crazy. So this guy just jumps bare ass naked into the hot tub. Come on, kid. 
Uh, he, he like, almost like a cannonball. I'm surprised he didn't kill himself. So, like, my friends were pissed off. All right, you know, they're kind of grooving, you know, to their own thing in the hot tub, trying to have a fun time. And this this naked guy is just kind of floating there in the middle of it with his dong out. I can't see. I can't see. Oh, no! My friends were not amused. So, you know, they don't want to be in the hot tub with the naked guy who's an asshole, by the way. They get out. They dry off. You know, we're just sitting by the tables next to the hot tub. We're talking about, uh, I don't know, baseball and puppy dogs. And this guy, is, he just gets more obnoxious and more obnoxious. And he starts splashing water around and all this shit. So my friend, you know, he's not hes not like me. You know, he doesn't get pissed off and go to town. He just kind of holds it all in until, like, he has to make a statement. And when he does, he just lets it out. And he lets it out really powerful and strong. And I'll never forget the statement he said, I think. <laughs> it went something like this. Oh, fuck. It went something like this. All right, asshole, listen up. No one likes you. No one wants you here. You're being an asshole. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. You're annoying the hell out of everyone. Why don't you just shut up, put your clothes on, and get out? <laughs> so it just tells him off. The guy doesn't say anything for five minutes. He just sits in the hot tub, you know? We thought that was the end of it. He just sits in the hot tub, doesn't say anything. So, like, yeah, several minutes later, he turns to my friend and he goes, All right, man. You and me, I think we got to fight. <laughs> and my friend's like, what are you talking about? I'm not fighting you. What are you What are you doing? What is wrong with you, man? You're being an idiot. You're acting like an asshole. And he's like, no, man, you and me, I think we got to fight. And my friend's, my friend's not uh, a pushover, but he's definitely not a fighter. He doesn't, he doesn't care about confrontation. He'd rather just chill. Uh, <laughs> so the guy gets out, you know, balls hanging still. And he's like, you and me are going to fight. And he's kind of challenging him to fight. As he's, you know, getting dressed, and I'm like, oh my god, it's... First of all, I'm just glad I'm drunk, because this is just too much shit right now. It's just too many balls. So, the guy gets dressed. Um, my friend, uh, who's friends with this guy, kind of like, you know, backs off his buddy. He's like, alright man, I think we gotta take you home. So, they're kind of on their way out, this guy's screaming. It's like 3 in the morning. You know, they're making a scene, the neighbors are gonna get pissed. I'm starting to get pissed. So uh, I kind of run over into the front yard, uh, which was really hard at the time since I was wasted. So those steps were very hard steps to take. Anyway, I almost got in a fight with the guy myself as he was leaving, but thankfully my buddy threw the guy in the car, got him the hell out of there. That was a crazy, that was a crazy time. Uh, another Halloween story. Last year, oh God, last year was awesome. But, uh... I think I'm going to call it a wrap right now. If you want to hear about last year's story and about the bonfire and the hayride and all that fun shit, you're going to have to stay tuned for the next part because I am out. See you later.